Fans in Toronto are still buzzing about the Maple Leafs landing 2018's top free agent prize, John Tavares. Of course, 8 hours and 31 minutes away, fans in Brooklyn are still angry, devastated and heartbroken. Whether you love the Maple Leafs or not, I think as a Canadian you should absolutely be happy that Tavares chose to come home when he could have gone anywhere else. California, Florida. Tavares, it is rumored, was being offered more money for these other destinations. He grew up in Mississauga. He grew up cheering for the Leafs. He dreamed of scoring game-winning goals wearing the blue and white jersey. And on July 1st, 2018, he made that dream a reality. In an era where we have seen Canada lose out over and over to other more prominent destinations, this truly is a milestone moment. I've had these conversations all the time with friends and colleagues and heard various media members as well who always argued if you could play in LA or San Jose or Anaheim or Florida, why would you want to play in Winnipeg or Edmonton or Calgary? I've always liked to think that a kid who grew up in Saskatchewan or Dryden, Ontario or Elk Point, Alberta, his dream would be to play in Canada and to be a part of the team that brought the Stanley Cup back to Canada for the first time since 1993. To see Tavares, who is one of the top 10 players in the league, at 27 years old, he is in or just entering into his prime, and to see him choose to play for the team that he grew up idolizing, we're not talking about a 38-year-old coming back to play for the team he grew up watching. Tavares is doing it in his prime. This could be an historic mark where others might start doing the same. What do you think? Will more NHL players start to do what Tavares has paved the way for? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.